Hello and welcome to another new tutorial of Affinity Photo where I'm going to show you how to do focus stacking using Affinity Photo. Very easy, very simple. Let's get into it. So you go to the file and then you have new focus merge. You click there and I'm assuming that by now you have few photographs uh, with a different kind of focus area. If not, go and then use manual focus and take some photograph. I'm going to show you exactly manually how each photo looks like. So I'm going to go to my photo. The first photo is focused on this book. I'm going to zoom in a little bit uh, there. So as you can see, the book is focused and sharp. The behind those two, they're not focused. You can see that those boxes are blurred. So that's one. You have photo number two where you have the book is not as sharp as the previous one but you have the sigma box quite sharp but 70 to 200 not that sharp so that's photo number two then the second photo where i actually focused for the canon ef 70 to 200 there you go you can see the book is not that sharp the sigma 18 to 35 is not that sharp but the 70 to 200 pretty sharp i'm very satisfied about it let me see if i can zoom in a bit more you can see that the front not sharp not that sharp but pretty sharp i'm happy so we have to i have a forced photo which is quite interesting you may wondering why i did that so the fourth photo actually i so i didn't focus on the book or sigma at the front or 7200 what i focused on here in this region so that's basically going to help me focusing on that area the edge top edge of the book and the box let's zoom in a little bit you can see that that part of the eight is quite focused but 7200 the book here or sigma front tough part is not that focused but the edge here you can see the clear difference let me zoom in a little bit more you can see that here is quite sharp it matches the middle ground with this part as well anyway so now you know how i did that so now let's get into it so i select all four photographs click open once you're done you have all the photograph ready and if you're satisfied click ok and then you have to wait for a little bit and you can see the affinity is working on it so automatically you can see that my cursor changed to a round and cross in the middle this one what is this well generally um, by um, we are assuming that the affinity photo will give you a very good result let's say there are moments that the focus is not stacked properly it happens when you're actually using like very high aperture like f one f 2.8 or such um, i recommend if you do focus stacking um, you should go for something like 5.6 or 8 minimum and then you do the focus stacking i hope the photographs are really nice let's let's have a look let's go one photo after one so you have sources with focus mode image and each photo that you stacked if that didn't work out this brush that automatically selected let's say this part was not focused you click on the focused area or where this photo has been focused on click that and then brush on uh, by doing so that should help you to uh, micro adjust your photograph now this is our first photo with each photographs being um, stacked so we have our book really nice crispy and focused amazing you have the sigma front and the back part of the photograph is nice and well aligned and well focused and you have your 70 to 100 um, box well focused as well so we go let's go to the one photo at a time so that's our final image our first focus a photograph was the book you can see that that's their final result that's the front they're both same but the back ones are not let's go back and forth yes no then 
This second one was on Sigma. You can see the Sigma is in focus. That's our result. Third one was the 7200 focused image stacked 7200. You can see the difference with the other side as well. And final one was focused on this side. And that's our final result. No, sorry, this one. Anyway, so that's how easy and simple it is to do focus stacking using uh, Affinity Photo. But, word of caution, please and please use tripod, handheld works, but you will always uh, be in trouble. I can guarantee you that one, and it takes a lot more work than if you don't use tripod. Other than that, if you use a tripod and focus manually, you should not have a problem. Surprisingly, actually it's auto-focused using Canon 70D. What I did, it touched on each element and I got lucky, but I'm not going to be lucky all the time. So I recommend you to use manual focus instead of auto-focus. So I hope this video has been very helpful. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.